Last year, the state moved forward with Governor Gavin Newsom's plan to ban the sale of all new gas-powered cars in California by 2035. But now, uh, Southern California Congressman Jay Obernolte introduced a new bill to stop the plan in its tracks. I spoke with him about this proposal on Inside California Politics over the weekend. Well, tonight, Fox 40 Capital reporter Aton Wallace gives us a closer look at the legislation and has reaction from the Newsom administration. Governor Newsom has been very clear in his goal to phase out all new gas-powered cars in the state within the next 12 years. But one California congressman and his Republican colleagues say not so fast. It's completely unrealistic. GOP Congressman Jay Obernalti slamming Governor Gavin Newsom's policy to ban the sale of all new gas-powered cars in California by 2035. During a one-on-one -on -one interview with Inside California Politics co-host Nikki Lorenzo, Obernalti expanded on his concerns with the plan, arguing it is impractical and unaffordable. Given that the cheapest electric cars on average are at least $30,000, he's concerned the plan could hurt everyday Californians. For government to have the arrogance to say that this is going to be the future and we're going to force you to do it, uh, I think is just, uh, is just indefensible. So indefensible, he says, that he introduced a bill in Congress to stop Newsom's plan and those like it in other states. Specifically, his bill would block attempts to ban the sale of vehicles with internal combustion engines. The legislation would also restrict the Environmental Protection Agency from granting any waivers allowing states like California to ban the sale of new gas-powered cars. I think the overarching problem here is you're taking away consumer choice. You're telling people government knows better than you do what your choices for buying a new vehicle should be. It all comes nearly one year after the California Air Resources Board, or CARB, back to the governor's plan, a plan supporters say is necessary to combat climate change and bad air quality. In a statement, CARB Executive Officer Stephen Cliff argued the state's plan is necessary, quote, to clean the air that Californians breathe and reduce the public health impact from pollution, we need urgency and action. The governor echoing a similar sentiment. His spokesperson saying this is where the industry is already going and automakers have fully embraced California's policies. Consumers want cleaner cars. And from here, the bill still faces an uphill battle and needs majority approval from the House and democratically controlled Senate. And if it makes it that far, it will need the signature of Gavin Newsom ally, President Joe Biden. Reporting from Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.